Hey what's up guys, today I'm back with a new video and I wanted to show you what Cubase is going to look like on a 4K screen because I recently got a 4K screen, it is a 28 inch Asus 4K screen. Um, if you haven't done it already I suggest that you set the video settings, uh, the resolution in the video settings to maximum resolution. If not this video is not going to make any sense really, so just Turn up the settings. I'll give you three seconds. Okay, so as you can see, I've already loaded up Cubase and I have opened just a random project to just to give you an insight on how it's going to look. Uh, just to begin with, you can see that I have loaded up uh, a lot of tracks. Uh, on the left side here, you can see that I have, uh, I'm actually able to see, let me close the mixer. If I minimize all the tracks, I can fit up to 73 tracks in the window. So it's really an advantage having a 4K screen if you're using Cubase because you are going to be able to fit a lot more into the window. Uh, also, if you open a key editor, uh, it's a lot more enjoyable working with it because you don't have to scroll too much when you are editing uh, the notes. Uh, or the CC automation or stuff like that. The other thing is if I open the, I can have the media bay open uh, and the mixer and the project window and work with all the windows at the same time. Now I know some people at the Steinberg forum or something asked if uh, Cubase is optimized for a 4K screen. And Cubase is not really optimized for 4K screens, uh, but it works on a 4K screen. It works just as any other window would on a 4K screen, meaning that everything is going to be smaller, the text is going to be smaller, um, all the graphics, all the GUI is going to be smaller, but at the same time you are going to be able to fit a lot more into the window. So when I'm running QAs, it's really an advantage to have a 4K screen. However, when I first set up the 4K screen, I noticed that everything was really small in the in Windows in general. So if I go to the desktop and I open Explorer, uh, the first thing I noticed was that all the text and everything was really, really small. So what I did was I went to the desktop and I went to screen resolution, I think. And there's an option here saying make text and other items larger or smaller. So if you click that one, you can basically enlarge ev everything in Windows. But if you don't want that to apply to Cubase, because it wouldn't make sense to apply uh, this option for Cubase, because then you wouldn't fit uh, more into Cubase than you would before. So if you want to exclude Cubase from this option, you can go down here, right click, uh, right click Cubase and properties. And there's a tab called compatibility. And there is an option saying disable display scaling on high DPI settings. So if you click this one, if this one is ticked, it means that Cubase will be excluded from uh, this setting, the enlarge uh, setting in Windows. So if you have any questions just leave it in the comments below. I'll try to answer as as good as I can and until the next video take care.